What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Today we're starting this off hot and heavy. I'm actually at a, a boat landing right now and we're taking out the new Old Town. We literally picked the worst place to do this. It's absolutely like so busy as you can see. It's just scorching with people right now. So I'm gonna be taking out the new Old Town kayak. If you guys wanna check out, what's up my guys? What's up? How's it going boys? So if you want to check out the kayak that I'm going to be using today, I will leave a link in the description below as well as the battery that I have for it. It's super fire. Today we got my boy Nicholas. Hey. He's going to be uh, helping me take the old girl out and we, we actually put this in, but I, I don't know how to work it. Um, yeah, not good. I don't know how this works. So uh, right now it's kind of hectic. I don't know why I started filming. I just figured, you know, this would be a good place to try it. So got the new kayak and I'm going to try to get everything situated and then I'll talk to you guys once I kind of have my life together a little bit more. Oh God. So I got my remote control here, finally figured out. And my kayak is out there giving it a dangle. Um, that's just good for it. You know, I'm on the dock here, but I'm just chilling. This is okay. I people are probably getting pissed off. So I'm going to turn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it come back this way. Whoa, 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 why are you going that way, buddy? Oh God, dude. Dude, this thing is so cool, look at this. I'm just literally remote controlling this thing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it right by me. I'm, not, I'm a new user with this thing, so I really don't know how, to, how this thing works, okay. Oh God. Oh God, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna cut the engine, oh, that's good for it. I'm just gonna jump in, boys, I don't know. All right, we're, we got it. I think I, I think I got it going. No, no way, Nick. I'm getting it figured out, bro. That was so scary, trying to like not hit people. This is a perfect test. Trying to figure out like how not to hit people and stuff. Oh my God, let's work, let's work this way. Literally, I usually people take these kind of things out and then vlog about it. But no, this is actually my first time taking it out. I have no clue how to do anything. I literally almost hit so many people on that boat landing and yeah. This thing is so cool, dude. Literally, look, I'm turning us this way. I'm gonna turn myself the other way. Oh God, I don't wanna hit you, so I'll turn this way. No way, should I bump her up a little bit and see how fast she goes? Oh God. Oh God, we're cooking, dude. Dude, we're cooking. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap, dude. What the heck? Ten's the fastest. I'm I'm cruising, dude. Uh, see you later, Nick. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna bump this down, and I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try hitting my. Uh, there's a spot lock on here, so I'm gonna try hitting the spot lock and see if I stay in place here. So say I just want to chill right here. I'm gonna hit the anchor button. Oh, look at the motor, dude. It's keeping me in place. <laughs> no. No way, bro. This whole video is just gonna be going, no way, bro, no way. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, uh, welcome back to another one. We're finally on the lake and I kinda, I had to get away from all the fans and all the people around here because it was just getting hectic at the dock. First time taking out the old town. If you wanna check this out, I will leave a link in the description below. What's up, boys? Got some, oh God. Oh, they're just getting after it right now. Oh yeah. Well, we got some fans just uh, whipping whipping the, the old jet ski around. Hey, watch the old town. Don't tip me over, bro. Gosh darn kids, I tell you what. All right, so if you guys want to check out this old town or any other old towns, I'll leave a link in the description below, as well as the battery. Today, I'm using a lithium amped battery and it's powering everything great. It lasts a lot longer than like the typical marine deep cycle batteries that you can get at Walmart. So if you're going to do something like this, I suggest getting a lithium and amped outdoors provides the best one. So I'll leave a link down in the description below as well. So. I'm gonna get kind of the uh, fishing rod situated, my GoPro situated, and I'll catch up with you once my life is a lot, and I mean a lot more stable. All right, so folks, I just realized I got out here and didn't bring my GoPro charger that I usually use when I run my GoPro battery. So I literally have one battery to make this video. Um, we'll see how that goes. Basically, we're just gonna fish a couple docks and see if I can catch a fish for you and give you guys my honest opinion about this kayak on the water with one GoPro battery and then I can bring out my big camera if need be. During this time where I was just sitting here, I threw on that spot lock. I literally haven't moved. I haven't moved at all yet. I've been staying in one spot. The motor's been spinning and stuff like that. And I mean, I'm walking around in this kayak and then I feel really comfortable. Like, I don't feel like I'm gonna die or anything like that. Yeah, this is very stable. So stability wise so far, I like it. I like it a lot. 
So let's actually take it off the anchor now. Okay, I think I took it off anchor, I don't know. Ah. Oh, look at that, I'm turning like 360. All right, Nick, I say we try to catch some fish. How about, what do you think about that? All right, so let's just go work these areas over here, these docks, and just work it down. See if we can get bit and go into uh, just click. I have the motor on three and a half right now and I'm steering it by using these two things right here. So if I want to go left, I just hit this button and look at that. My main code is making me go this way. I'm running the motor at like the three speed. So not too slow, not too fast, decent speed right now. And this goes all the way up to 10. I was cooking over here with 10 for a little bit ago and I liked it. Oh, this is so cool. And then, so say I wanted to go in one direction. So like, I can actually click this north button right here and it's gonna keep me wherever my, my motor's pointing. If I click that end button, it's gonna keep me straight in that area. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna turn that off right now and get back to the docks over here. Oh man, this is so cool. And so say I, like for some reason, ran out of battery or something like that, I have my paddle right here on the side, if you guys can see that. It's right there, and I can just take it out. I can put my rudder down using this lever, wherever the lever is, this lever's on this side. Put the lever down, I have my rudder, and I can steer with these feet pedals right there and just motor around, well, paddle around, I suppose. So you see that, that green dock? That green dock always has a lot of fish under it. Yeah, actually, let's try these real quick. I'm gonna stand up right here, get some vantage point on these fish. We're just gonna haul ass all these docks, and then once I get in the spot that I wanna be at, I'm gonna hit the spot lock button. See if I can catch some fish. Okay. I'm gonna hit the spot lock button, and it should keep me still right here. So then I can put my little remote away, grab the old smoke pole, and I'm standing, folks. I should be able to fish these docks without moving. Look at that, just ran the juice right there. So I guess I'll show you guys what I'm using fishing wise. I'm using just a little gridiron football jig with a Guggen Squad Crack and Craw. Y'all already know the juice. We're just gonna flip some docks today, show what the new the new toy, and see if we can make some magic happen. Nicholas, how are you feeling about life right now? Yeah. Feeling good. It, it's This is a new experience for me. I think by the end of the day, we're gonna tie a rope on this. And I'm just gonna tow you around. I don't know. We're about to find out. Fully yeah, fully charged. All right, let's go to uh, the green dock. All right, so I think we're gonna motor on over to the other side. Well, Nick's gonna paddle, and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish on the other side because this side is not that good. The other side's the juice. All right, we are rolling up to the next spot here. I'm gonna get me positioned. Hit the spot lock button. Put the controller away, grab the old smoke pole, take that first cast. Oh yeah. Now I'll see if I can catch a fish. There we go, first fish of the day. I figured there was a bass under there. Yeah, first fish ever in the new kayak, boys. Let's go. Oh man, come here, you're slippery. I think I just found my new favorite thing to do. It's to ride around in the old town autopilot 120 and catch some fish. Oh man, this is my new hobby, 100% bro. First fish in the new kayak. Oh man, just chilling underneath that dock. It made it so easy. I came up right here, hit the spot lock button, flipped on in there, caught myself a doink. There we go. Also guys, I think I should name my kayak. As you guys saw, Sam has a kayak. His is like orange and black. Then my kayak is this blue one. So drop some comments down below and let me know what should I name this bad boy? Because I, I feel like I should have a name for this, you know, like, hey, today we're going to go fishing in blah 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 or we're gonna do this and blah 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 like you drop some comments down below and let me know but first fish ever in the new yak let's go oh yeah this should be good this should be it right here spot lock this dock looks gas get a little skipperoo under there
definitely some weeds in there. There's a fish right there. Oh, oh, that was a pretty good largey. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh. I got the worst hook set into that fish. No, oh my. That was my bad, 100% all the way. I saw him swim right back under there. Dang it, that could've been the second fish ever cotton in this yak, man. But I botched it. You know, it happens. That's the first fish loss in this kayak. I guess get that out of the way. Hopefully there's no more of those uh, incidents. to do is get it right under there come here little guy number two of the day get in here yes sir number two there we go had to skip it all the way under there oh my gosh I'm gonna click spot lock real quick just so I don't lose this spot Woohoo! let's go number two. Oh man I've hooked three fish only landed two second official fish love that battery's about to die so that's dope we got that done all right, this is what you do when GoPros die. You set your freaking Jovi up like this. Sorry, folks, but GoPro died. They suck. Yeah, let's see if I can whack another one on the big camera here. Yeah, it is. Dude, two. There's two under there. No way. Bro. Back-to-back -back freaking cast, boys. Oh snap, I don't know what you guys saw, but I flipped right back into that same dock that I just caught that last one. Another one, they love the jig, bro. The Guggen Squad jig and Crack and Craw combo. Can't go wrong. Oh, yeah, number three for the day. Woo! Whoo, folks, that is where we're gonna end today's video. Well, the fishing part of this video. I thought, you know what, fishing's been tough today. Ended up catching three, I had four on, but only landed three, it was tough, so we're ending that part. And I wanted to come to the middle of the lake where there was nobody, and kinda just give my day one review, fishing out of the Autopilot 120. Um, just give you a little bit of what I thought of it, tips, tricks, the good, the bad, all that stuff. So let's just dive into it. All in all, if I had to rate this kayak, like out of scale of one to 10, man, this this thing is a 9.5. Like I was, if you guys watched earlier in the vlog, when, as soon as I start figuring out how this thing works, I was just grinning from ear to ear. Just so happy. This thing is absolutely unreal for fishing. I mean, it's so relaxing, comfortable, efficient, and you can really maneuver it like 360 very easily. So I would say, if you guys are in the market for a new kayak and you wanted to throw some cash at something, definitely go check out Old Town. The Autopilot 120 is what I have, and Sam has the 106. We got sent two kayaks. I'm doing my video right now, and Sam's gonna do his review on the water later, but I always wanted to give you kind of a breakdown of my kayak and your, my thoughts on it. I did not get to use the rudder or the steering kind of pedal things because I just ran the motor the whole day. If I wanted to have paddled, I would have grabbed my paddle, out of my little paddle holder right there, put down the rudder and steered with my feet. But I didn't need to do that because I'm bougie like that and I have the autopilot 120. This old girl did awesome. Right now we're in spot lock and as you can see, I mean, we got some big waves coming. We got boats flying by. That's been happening all day and I've been sitting still on this freaking spot lock. It's, it's amazing. Like I've been getting tossed around but I won't move with the spot lock. I mean, I kind of want to try it in like a river or some other application other than just like, you know, jet skiers going by or something like that. Like as you can see, look at this right here. We're gonna test the mobility, or we're gonna test the stability and the spot lock here. You know, we're moving, we're moving. I'm not falling in, I'm holding the camera still. And 
we didn't move the spot lock worked and also i mean it's not that like windy out today so i would like to see what it'd be like with the wind out but i mean right now today it did absolutely phenomenal i have four rod holders one right there one right there one right there one right there two cup holders i've been keeping this like dry box thing right here i put my phone in there so that's really nice and then there's also a dry box area up there and i think there's a couple more around here somewhere i don't really know uh, maybe under the seat and in the back there the seat was very comfortable um as you can see i packed like all my camera gear we got some cold ones tackle pfd like it's very very spacious and i can walk all around in this like with pretty comfortable i mean like oh god oh god i almost biffed it right there ripped that wasn't bad you guys would like to see that yeah i mean i'm moving around just fine in here um i feel like if you really wanted to i could bring a small dog or a small person and they could sit in the back there maybe bring like a bucket and put it back there and you could you could honestly probably take two people in here is it recommended probably not it's probably recommended for just one person but if you really needed to i think you could fit two people in here now i want to hear what kind of plans you guys want me to do with this where should i take this fishing what kind of video Video should I film with this what should I name it and you know just other random things you want to see done with this kayak drop those comments down below hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching go check out Old Town they helped out this video just so go support them thank you so much for watching see you guys next time